Ezekiel 5, here God says to Ezekiel, there's going to be terrible judgment upon Judah. People are going to really suffer. And when it's done, then I will be comforted. Then I will be comforted. And Ezekiel and any sort of half normal person would have thought, well, how? Why? <laughs> What's that mean? That God is comforted by having executed judgment. In chapter 14, God is going to tell Ezekiel, when I have done all this judgment, you, Ezekiel, will be comforted over all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem. In other words, he's saying at the end of all things, Ezekiel, you will come to see my judgment and the way that I have acted the same way as I do. So many people and all of us are caught up to some degree with this question why? God, why? Why do you allow the wicked to prosper? Why do you have to judge people in the way that you do? That seems to me not fair that you did this. Why? Why do we have all these questions about the justice of God? I think they are there to test our humility. There is no quick answer to any of those questions. You will not find some little quick meme or some very witty, uh, clever little sentence that answers it all. There is no answer. Those questions are there to test your faith, which means your trust in God. Because all the people who say, oh, well, I don't believe in God, because why does God do this? Why does God do that? No, they're missing the point. The fact you may not agree with how God acts, or you don't understand how he acts, does not at all question his existence. His existence is there in your face, and the fool says in his heart, there is no God. The fact you may not like what you see or what you understand of how God acts does not, does not say anything about whether he exists or not. It just says something about you. And here you see the critical difference between the proud and the humble. The humble will say, God, I have all these questions. Why? Why? And we'll take this comfort that finally, at the end of all things, you will see it my way. But for now, those questions remain. The injustice, the why questions, yeah. But they are there to deepen our trust and our humility and our recognition that I do not and cannot have all the answers.